Hey, this is Digital Byte Computing. We're going through the steps on how to install CentOS uh, version 7. We're using the latest one at this time of the recording uh, onto your Mac. So we're going to be using a program called VM, VMware Fusion. Uh, so there are other ways to do this. You can actually boot from a USB or from a CD directly to CentOS. But we're going to show you an easier way that you can actually run CentOS um, within your Mac. So uh, you'll need to get this VMware Fusion uh, program. There is a trial version that you can download from their website. Otherwise, it's a very cheap install. And then you can literally install CentOS, a whole bunch of other Linux versions, as well as other Windows and Mac um, operating systems as well. So... Simple thing is we need to have the CentOS ISO, all right? So the ISO file can be downloaded from the CentOS website. The latest version is available from there. So you need to go ahead and download that ISO uh, before we can go and install it. Once you do have that ISO, you wanna open up VMware Fusion. All right, you're gonna be presented with two options here. Install from disk or import an existing PC. Now this is because it's a new install, we wanna say install from disk or image. So you select that option, click on continue. Now we want to choose an operating system. So we're gonna use another disk or disk image. So select this bottom option here. And then we're gonna to navigate to the desktop and we're gonna look for CentOS. All right, that's the ISO and open. That ISO is now gonna be added into this list and we click on continue, put in some details. What do you want your account name to be? So we'll just call it CentOS user, put in whatever password you need. Virtual machine can read and write. You wanna make sure you can do that and continue. Now here you wanna edit some settings. So we're gonna go into customize settings so you can change some things. It's gonna ask us where to save it first. So we'll save it into this location. It's actually gonna be a VM file. All right, so this is like an image file. You're actually gonna be able to uh, copy this image and say transfer it to another computer in future as well. And it's all basically stored in the one file. So you'll, you'll already see that I've got here a Zen server file. So this file contains the entire operating system. So we're creating something similar for CentOS. So we save. Okay, so now we're presented with some options here. So you can go through these different options and ad adjust it how you see fit. Okay, so what we're gonna wanna do is you wanna adjust the processor and memory if you need to. So you can actually put one, two, three, or four processors, keeping in mind that because CentOS is running on top of your Mac, the more processors you give it, the slower your Mac operating system is going to run. So you wanna just be mindful of that. So depending on how, how much load you wanna put on your CentOS is how many um, processors you want to give it. So we're gonna leave it at one processor and then the same thing for your memory. Okay, so I've got a certain amount of memory. It's automatically chosen one gig, 1024 megabytes. We wanna give it a little bit more so we're just gonna go, just for the sake of this argument, for this uh, demonstration, we're gonna go 1.5. Okay, go back to show all. So you can do a few other things, like you can have your hard drive be bigger. So by default, it's gonna be 20. So you can actually go and add another, um, you know, another 20 if you want to, add another device. You can add a secondary, a secondary disc as well. So we'll just leave that as default. But just be aware, there are a few other options in here that you can also add into your environment, okay? So we just close out of that. Now, because we have selected that CentOS ISO file, as soon as we click on this big play button, it will boot that ISO. And as you can see, it's already starting to boot. All right, so that's gonna take a little bit of time. It's gonna start to run all the, uh, the pre-boot, um, I guess, tasks and services that need to run for the installer to run. So we'll check back once this is done. It shouldn't take too long. So let's give it a shot. You'll be presented with the CentOS login screen here. 
all right, for the initial setup. Now it's gonna to try to automate some stuff here. So what we wanna do is uh, generally you would do your root password, but because we've already done that, uh, it's not gonna ask you to do that root password, but you can do a user creation if you so want to, okay? And um, you'll find that also that sometimes your mouse gets stuck in the screen. And as you, as you can see on the top right corner, it says to release your mouse, press control command. So if you want to click control command, it actually releases the mouse so you can freely go between the two. This won't happen too often uh, in, in a Linux environment, but more if you're installing something like Windows, uh, you can actually lock your mouse within that Windows uh, screen. Um, so control command will actually free that. Okay, so we'll let this keep going through. You'll also see there's a few other options here. So you can boot a CD uh, if you want to, or boot another ISO. Uh, you can put sound, uh, you know, your, your speakers up for your Linux CentOS as well. So we'll check back once this is done. So the install is now completed. You'll see that it's restarted and you're now presented with the logon screen. So you just log in, click on the username and put in the password that you wanted. And then we should be in CentOS. So as I mentioned, this is a complete VM, right? So it's actually a virtual machine uh, running on your Mac natively. So you can actually, you know, be working within CentOS, right? doing what you need to do uh, start using CentOS there we go so we got CentOS all ready to go the GUI version and uh, I'm on the Mac at the same time so you can actually run them both you can do cool things like you can view full screen all right so there you go I'm running now at full screen and that is it so then you can just go ahead and just shut it down as normal we want to power off and then your CentOS machine will power off. So that is CentOS running on a Mac. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.